नमस्ते आई एम मंजुला वेलकम टू माई किचन टूडे आई विल बी मेकिंग मटर की कचौरी पफ्ड पेस्ट्री मटर की कचौरी इज डिलीशियस फ्राइड पफ्ड पेस्ट्री फिल्ड विद स्पाइसी ग्रीन पीस मेक्स ए ग्रेट माउथ वाटरिंग एपिटाइजर और यू कैन सर्व दिस एज ए पार्ट ऑफ मेन मील एनी वे यू सर्व दिस टेस्ट ग्रेट This recipe will make twelve kachoris. For this recipe, we need one cup of all-purpose flour, plain flour or maida, two tablespoon of oil, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and about half a cup of chilled water. For filling, we need one cup of green peas. I am using the frozen green peas which I have already thawed. One teaspoon of oil. 1 tablespoon of coriander powder 1 teaspoon of fennel seed powder 1 teaspoon of chili flakes half a teaspoon of mango powder and half a teaspoon of salt salt and pepper you can adjust to your taste okay so first i am going to make dough so mix the put the salt oil and just mix it well is going to be a crumbly dough looks like we have mixed this and it looks good now we are going to add the water slowly for the kachori kachori we don't need uh, to knead the dough too much just very lightly dough should be soft but is still not sticking to your fingers add some more water okay and like i said don't knead the dough and dough is ready and we are going to cover this with the damp paper towel and leave it for 15 minutes before making the kachoris okay heat is on medium high So first I am going to put the oil and just make sure the bottom of the pan is coated well now the green peas salt chili flakes fennel powder coriander powder and amchur Now we are going to stir fry this. This should take about uh, oh four minutes. And while we are stir frying, is we need to mash these peas. Okay, it has been uh, about three minutes, and as you see, peas are ready. We don't want to dry too much. Uh, we are not making a powder. It should be just dry and. Uh, So it's easy to fill, and now it needs to cool off before filling. Okay, dough is ready. It has been sitting for about 15 minutes, and uh, the spice mixture has cooled off. So we are ready to make the kachori. So first, we are going to knead the dough with light hand, just lightly, not too much. Okay, and divide the dough in 12 equal parts. So I have divided the dough in twelve equal parts, and now we are ready to put the filling and make like dumplings. So you are going to press the corners. So center part is little bit uh, heavier than on the side, and just uh, about one teaspoon of filling. And take all the side and pinch it. in the center okay okay let's do the next one so again like i said press from the sides leaving the center little heavy one spoon of spiced green peas 
and now pull through all the sides in the center and here it goes okay as you see this is not very hard and this is my last ball to fill now this should sit for about 5 minutes before we start rolling and in meantime I will open the heat on medium high okay this has been about 5 minutes so I have covered the all the filled balls with the damp paper towel so now it's time to roll so for rolling you put the seam side up and from back of your palm you just go slowly doing with your palms they all the fillings goes in the all sides very evenly and it's very easy and you can see the green peas and it's not going to uh, come out and make the holes in the kachori okay, so like I said before seam side should be up and from back your palm you start from the center and just go around if dough is uh, not soft then it uh, you will have hard time uh, spreading it so if you think uh, it's not thin enough just go by your finger lightly on those some of these kachoris they are looking very good okay oil is ready it's fried on very low heat and as you see when you are putting the kachoris it's little bit uh, sizzling but it has not been coming up it should come up very slow Okay, so looks like I can put eight kachoris and just wait for about two minutes uh, before you turn them. They will pop up and they will be, you can all see them floating top of the oil. This has been about a uh, minute and a half. I am going to wait a little bit more before I will turn them over. As you see most of your kachoris has puffed up and looking great. So now this is the time to turn the kachoris. And they are really looking very nice. Again you have to wait for at least a minute and a half. You don't want to keep turning the kachoris uh, over and over again. That way it's a chance you can break them. Okay, this has been about 2 minutes, so I am going to turn them again. And as you see, they have started getting, changing the color very lightly. Okay, looks great. And again wait for a couple of minutes. Okay, this has been again about 2 minutes. So let's see how kachoris are doing. Okay, let's turn them. Turn them gently, you want to make sure they don't break and get the hole. So this side is done. So we are going to let it uh, cook for another minute from the other side. And kachoris will be ready. Okay, kachoris are looking ready. So just turn it and see. It has a very nice color. So it's time to take them out. And again, tilt your spatula. You want to make sure you take out the as much oil as possible and put it over the paper towel. Kachoris are looking great and very tempting. You can serve them as is or serve them with the chutney. Makes a great appetizer. This was my mother's favorite kachori and this is her recipe. She liked uh, with the main meal. Uh, and served with aloo dam. This recipe you can find on my website. Enjoy it and I will see you again with a new recipe. Thank you.